Have you ever stopped to ponder how electric motors work, how they power so many appliances in our daily lives? From the blender that whips up your breakfast smoothie to the electric car you drive to work, electric motors are everywhere, silently and efficiently converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. These unsung heroes come in two primary types, alternating current or AC motors and direct current or DC motors. AC motors, found in most household appliances, run on the same kind of electricity that comes out of your wall outlet, while DC motors, which power electric vehicles and many cordless tools, run on the same kind of electricity that comes from batteries. These two types of motors, though they may seem similar, are fundamentally different in the way they function, and understanding these differences is key to unlocking their potential. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of electric motors and learn how they work. Let's get started. Let's... To understand how electric motors work, we must first understand the basic principle behind them. The heart of the matter lies within a fundamental concept known as electromagnetism. In the early 19th century, a Danish scientist named Hans Christian Ørsted discovered that electric current creates a magnetic field around the wire carrying it. This was the birth of electromagnetism, the principle that marries electricity with magnetism. It's the force that underpins our modern technologies from televisions and refrigerators to electric cars and, of course, electric motors. So how does electromagnetism translate into the functioning of an electric motor? Well, imagine a wire loop suspended between two magnets. When an electric current passes through the loop, it generates a magnetic field that interacts with the magnetic field of the surrounding magnets. This interaction results in a force, causing the wire loop to rotate. And voila, we've got motion from electricity. This rotation of the wire loop, or rotor, is the basic operating principle of an electric motor. By controlling the direction and magnitude of the current, we can control the speed and direction of the motor. It's a little like a symphony, where the conductor, in this case the electric current, guides the orchestra, the motor, to perform as desired. But here's the catch. Not all electric motors are the same. They come in many shapes and sizes, and most importantly, they are designed to operate with different types of electric current. The two most common types are alternating current or AC motors and direct current or DC motors. While they both rely on the principle of electromagnetism, the way they utilize electric current differs. So that's the fundamental principle behind the operation of an electric motor. But how does this principle apply to AC and DC motors? Alternating current or AC motors operate by having the current and magnetic field alternate in direction. At the heart of an AC motor lies its most essential element, the rotor. This rotating part is surrounded by a stationary component, the stator. Now, here's the magic. When alternating current is passed through the stator, it creates a rotating magnetic field. This magnetic dance, in turn, exerts a force on the rotor, compelling it to follow the rhythm and rotate. This rotation is what powers our appliances, machines, and much more. But it's not all smooth sailing. The rotor has a bit of a lag trailing behind the magnetic field. This is called the slip and it's crucial for the motor's operation. Without it, the rotor would simply stand still, entranced by the magnetic field but never move to dance. That's the basic operation of an AC motor. But how does a direct current or DC motor differ? Unlike AC motors, DC motors operate with a constant current and magnetic field. Let's take a closer look. The heart of a DC motor is its stator and rotor. The stator houses the stationary magnetic field, while the rotor, or armature, carries the current. This current interacts with the stator's magnetic field to generate a force that spins the rotor continuously. Here's where it gets fascinating. The constant current in a DC motor is maintained through a component called a commutator. It's essentially a switch that keeps flipping the direction of current in the rotor. This ensures a smooth, continuous rotation without the need for the alternating current that AC motors use. But why does this matter? Well, the continuous rotation of DC motors makes them ideal for applications requiring precise control, like in your electric toothbrush or the hard drive in your computer. So both AC and DC motors use the principle of electromagnetism, but in slightly different ways. So, we've learned that electric motors use the principle of electromagnetism to generate motion. This simple yet profound concept is the driving force behind so many of the devices that make our lives easier, from the blender in your kitchen to the electric car parked outside your house. 
we dove into the world of AC motors, or alternating current motors, which are most commonly found in household appliances and industrial machines. We discovered that the key to their operation lies in the alternating current itself. This current changes direction periodically, creating a rotating magnetic field that spins the rotor and drives the motor. The beauty of an AC motor lies in its simplicity and its ability to run at high speeds with minimal maintenance. On the other hand, we also explored the realm of DC motors or direct current motors. Unlike AC motors, DC motors use a constant current that flows in one direction. This current generates a steady magnetic field, which interacts with the magnetic fields generated by the motor's coils to create motion. While these motors are generally more complex and require more maintenance, they offer the advantage of precise speed control, making them ideal for applications such as electric vehicles and robotics. In comparing the two, we found that while AC and DC motors may seem different on the surface, they share the common purpose of converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. They do this through the interaction of magnetic fields, a fundamental principle of electromagnetism. However, their differences in design and operation make them suited to different applications, from the high-speed, low-maintenance requirements of household appliances to the precise control needs of robotics and electric vehicles. And that, folks, is a basic overview of how electric motors work. Next time you use an electric appliance, you'll know a bit more about what's going on inside.